Welcome back guys. Um, I hope you guys had an awesome week with your family and you had fun celebrating Easter and hopefully you guys did an egg hunt and were able to decorate and have so much fun with your mommies and daddies at home and your siblings. Um, I'm so excited to be back to see you guys um, and teach you guys through our devices, through our, your iPad and your computer. Um, this week is going to be a super fun week. We are going to be learning about the earth because we live in earth. So we're going to be learning a little bit about that and how we could make our earth better during, um, better while we live here. And, um, we're also going to learn a new letter. So let's get started guys. So this is our new letter for the week. Can you see? Can you do this one? Can anybody guess what letter this is? It is not A. It looks like A. This is A. It's not E because this is E. So this is our letter of the week. And our letter of the week is letter S. Okay, okay. say it with me. It's not like a snake. Okay, so put your hands behind you and we're going to sing, where is S, where is S, here I am, here I am, what does S say, what does S say, good job guys, all right, say it with me, the S says, the S says, Every letter makes a sound, the S says, like in Stephanie. My name starts with the letter S. Look at that. Okay, and then I went through your guys' names. So, do you guys know if your name has the letter S? Raise your hand if you think you have an S in your name. I have an S in my name. And if your name is Isla, you should be raising your hand because you also have an S in your name. I-S-L-A. Isla. I see. Isla has an S. What other friends have the letter S? Can you guys think of any other friends? Hmm. What about this friend? Do you guys know who this is? Samuel. Samuel has a capital S. S-A-M-U-E-L. Samuel has the letter S in his name. Who else has the letter S in their name? Do you guys know? Lexi, did you raise your hand? If you did, you are right. You have the letter S in your name. Look at that. A-L-E-X-I-S. Lexi. Lexus and Lexi for short. Does anybody else have the letter S in their name? I didn't find anybody else with the letter S in their name. But if you do know somebody else that has the letter S in their name, please let me know. Comment on our the bottom. Add it in the comments and let me know if you found anybody else that starts with the letter S. Okay? So this is what S looks like. And we said that S says like in the sun. The sun. The sun shines bright. The sun. There is also something that's in the sky that starts with the letter S. Can you guys guess? It shines bright like a diamond in the sky. A star we have our shape the star has the letter S can you see any other shape that has the letter S in it how about circle does circle have the letter S no how about the square square yes the square
square has the letter S. Any other shapes that have the letter S? How about the rhombus? It doesn't start with the letter S, but it ends with the letter S. Rhombus. Okay, so the two shapes that start with the letter S is star and squared. I want you guys to pull out your letter S worksheet. And this is what you're gonna do today. What's the first thing that we do on our page? We write our name. So if you are Samuel or Lexi, Ava, Jack, you're gonna write your name over here, okay? And then you're gonna come over to these pictures. And it says, color the picture that has the, that begins with the letter S. So, sun, sock, treasure, or chest. One more time. Sun, sock, treasure. Which one ha begins with the letter S? If you said sun, you are correct. And if you said sock, you are correct too. So you're gonna color in all of the pictures and then you're, I want you to cross out the treasure. Even though treasure is cool, it doesn't begin with the letter S. So on these squares, I want you to try and draw a sun and a sock. And make sure you use different colors, okay? Because um, this sun's not green. Okay, maybe a sock could be green. But this sun's not green. Have you guys seen the sun be green? I haven't. Okay, so we're gonna draw a sun, uh, we're gonna draw a sun and a sock. And then over here, we're gonna find the capital S and the lowercase s. And we are going to color the box with the S. So that's an S. What am I going to do with that box? I'm going to color it. What about the letter H right here? Nope, I do not color it because it's not the letter S. At the bottom, we're going to practice writing our capital S and the lowercase s, and I want you to do that all the way across. Okay? And if you say it's too hard, well, guess what? Um, we're going to practice writing the letter S together okay so I got my board and you could do it on your paper and you use a crayon or a marker okay so an S is kind of like a worm you know when you see a worm and it's just like squiggling its body so it's gonna be the same thing it's gonna be like a squiggly line so we're gonna just start there I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna and there okay so i'm going to do curve and go around s that's a capital s now i'm going to do a lowercase s there we go okay so i'm going to draw s's and you could have mommy or daddy do this on a paper and you with your skywriter, your finger, I want you to follow the lines of the S. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go. And it's okay if you don't erase all the colors. I just want you to practice following the lines. Like that. The S. The S. The S. Every letter makes a sound, the S, S, that's it. All right, guys. So this week I told you we are going to be celebrating Earth Day. And why do we celebrate Earth? What do you guys think? Well, Earth is the planet we live in. So we should celebrate our planet because our planet is awesome. We have lots of stuff because of our planet. But we also need to take care of our planet. And what do you think we could do to take care of our planet? 
is taking care of our planet, throwing trash on the street. No, if you do that, you're not taking care of our planet. You're making our planet dirty and smelly and it doesn't look nice. Where do we throw our trash? In the trash can. So you guys know how we clean our classroom and we make sure we pick up after ourselves because we don't want a messy classroom, right? Well, it's the same thing with our the planet that we live in, Earth. We don't want a messy planet or a dirty planet. We want it clean. So whenever you're outside um, or out in the street, if you have trash, where do you put it? Do you just put it on the grass? Mm -mm. You find a trash can, okay? So there's on other ways to help our earth. And one of them is by recycling. Do you guys know what recycling is? Well, recycling means that you get to have something and you reuse it again. You find a different purpose for it or try to use it again so we could save um, energy and conserve um, our resources that we have. So this is called, I have four letters, words here, and I will tell you what those four words are later. But if you are at home in your house, maybe in your house, you maybe you have like three different trash cans. My, one might be green, my one might be blue, or different other colors are black. And each trash can is for something else, for something different, different type of trash. So we have aluminum, which is also like metal, paper or cardboard, plastic, and compost. So in your house, you could learn how to recycle. And when the trash truck comes, they take it, if you put it in the right trash cans, they take it to the right place so we could reuse those materials again, okay? So we said aluminum or metal, paper, plastic, and compost. So. What do you think this is? It's an empty water bottle. But what do you think? Is it paper? No. Is it compost? Yeah? No. This is not compost. Remember how an Albus Garden Miss Cozy has that compost bin and you could put um, your bananas, your banana peels or your peaches or like any other seeds or things that you ate eaten and you could put it in the compost? We don't put plastic, okay? I just told you, this is plastic, okay? So you guys could recycle your water bottles. Don't throw them in your regular trash can. You could put, set them aside in a different trash can or a trash bag, and then we could recycle this and use the plastic to make something else. So this is a formula for my kiddos, for my babies, but it's empty now. But this is called aluminum or metal. It could be called, you could call it metal. But we could also recycle this and we could use this, the material, this for something else. Your toilet paper rolls or paper towels. We could, you could also recycle this and use it for something else. Okay? Maybe you could do a craft or build with it. And this could be a soda can and you could recycle this and this is also called aluminum okay so do you guys have stuff at home that you guys could recycle do you guys just throw all your trash in one one um trash bin or do you have different trash bins let me know um you could also start if you have if you don't do it yet you could start recycling and you could help our earth um Ask mommy and daddy what else you could do to help our earth and let me know and we could talk about it tomorrow and I'll find out new ways for us to help our planet earth. All right, guys, I missed you guys so much. Um, I'm excited for this week. This is all for today and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye, guys.